there are two main features of the twin blade that uh, help make it perform better than the four barrel and I'll explain those now. The most important uh, formula in the racing carburetors is the Venturi to throttle bore ratio. That's the, the ratio of the, the difference between the area here or on the twin blade all the way across versus the area of the throttle bore or throttle plate. That'll be a percentage. So if you have two carburetors flow the same, let's say a thousand CFM, and one a twin blade, let's say the, the uh, Venturi to throttle bore ratio is 70%, and the Venturi to throttle bore ratio of another carburetor is 80%, the carburetor that has the 70% Venturi to throttle bore ratio will always have the highest potential to be most efficient and therefore the, make the most power and accelerate the best. The other feature of the twin blade that's, that's very important is uh, involves low pressure areas and keeping fuel and air and fuel suspended in the air. On a traditional four barrel you'll notice between the four holes is a, a uh, just an area of material. It's, it's a natural situation and you can't get away from it. What we've seen with, with photography and, and testing is that creates a low pressure zone that as the engine accelerates and the fuel from the booster is coming through droplets will actually start to, to fall into this area while it's running. So it's pulling fuel from the air and it'll actually come back up and hit the bottom of this thing. That's why emerge spacers and the blended type spacers typically help so well with, with engines with four barrels. It's actually a band-aid that works sometimes and, and other times does not work as well. You'll see that the twin blade does not have that. It's just got a very thin area there. So there's no place for the, the fuel and air to, to drop out of suspension. Um, all, the, all the streamline work is done in the main body of the carburetor. That's it. Thanks, guys.